Many of you know that Cindy Wells and a number of us from Western Iowa just returned from a trip to Chile. Upon entering one of the churches there, one uh, dear, dear old woman came up to me and said, Oh, Father Noel. So I've been thinking about what it would be like to be Father Noel. And so I was making my list and checking it twice. But then I decided I would go on the internet and see what kind of lists are out there to help people get prepared for this holiday season. The one I found was most interesting. It says the week before, deep clean your house and then buy batteries for your children's toys. Three days before, shop for fresh ingredients and set the table and then record a holiday greeting while I'm doing that now. Two days before, start cooking and buy fresh flowers. And the day before, recharge the batteries on your camera, finish at last minute wrapping, finish cooking and making a timeline for the next day, and then it says to sit back and relax. Now, my list is slightly different. Well, actually, it's a lot different. Because in every day it says, pray. Pray, come, Lord Jesus. We remember Martin Luther's words in talking about the petitions of the Lord's Prayer, your kingdom come. Luther says, the kingdom of God certainly comes by itself, bidden or unbidden, as the rest of says. But we pray in this petition that it comes for us. See, that's what Christmas is about for us, isn't it? It's the kingdom of God. It's about God coming to us, about the incarnation of God himself. I pray this Christmas season that you will sense that God with us in all of this, in all of your time with family and friends, in your worship, in your quiet times, and even in your con contemplating what it means for God to come to us. From all of your friends at the Western Iowa Synod Mission Center, and from your colleagues, and from those from far away in Tanzania or in Chile, a blessed Christmas to you and a happy new year.